Have you ever tried to automate the volume in your tracks to then realize you can't adjust the overall volume of the track without it snapping back to the automation or turning it off altogether? Well, keep watching because we're about to fix that. Hey, it's Marcus from Holosuite. If you make ambient music, you've probably experimented with automating volume in your multi-tracks to try and add more movement to your songs or just to bring things slowly in and out. But the biggest drawback for volume automation in most doors is that it then means you can't adjust the relative volume of the tracks because they then tend to snap back to the automation or your fader will override the automation altogether and turn it off. You might also be like me and accidentally add those attempts to change the volume into the automation, which just makes things worse. Seriously, I do it all the time. The good news is there is a workaround to it and I slapped myself when I realized how stupidly simple it was. Before we dive in, please don't forget to check the links in the description where you'll find heaps of free resources on mixing, mastering and releasing ambient and experimental music, as well as a link to request a free one track master sample from me. Okay, let's go. So here I have a track where I've done some basic volume automation on this first track here, number one. And if we play it through. Going up and down. If I want to go over and change the relative volume, which is that the volume against the other tracks in the song, I would use this over here. But you can see it's got that automation running on it. So if I try and turn it down, it just turns off the automation. So then I'd have to go back and re-enable the automation to get it to work again. But then of course, if I try and move the volume again, it turns it off again. Okay, so what do we do? Super simple. I'm going to grab a utility plugin. I'm going to put it on this track. And then if you look at the utility plugin, you'll see that it has this section here called gain. And gain has the same effect as this main volume slider, but it can be manipulated independently of the volume slider. So let's check that out. So what this means is that I can copy the automation over from the volume to the game. And get exactly the same effect. So I'll just get rid of that original automation. Just turn this down a bit just in case. And let's check it out. So it's still running through that volume automation, but now I can turn this up and down as I like until it works out nicely. It's that simple. So if you're doing this in Logic, uh, the equivalent of the utility plugin would be the gain plugin. And you can just automate the gain on that plugin to get exactly the same effect. If you're doing it on Reaper, you have two options. You can either adjust the trim of a track or you can add a volume plugin and automate the adjustment. And for any other door, uh, if you're not sure and can't find an equivalent, there's a plugin from Blue Cat Audio called Blue Cat's Gain Suite that does exactly the same thing. It has a giant gain knob that you can adjust up and down to automate the volume of a track. So I hope this was helpful for you. If you're like me, it was like a complete eye opener and it just completely changed the way that I mixed. If you found some value in this video and you're not already subscribed to this channel, please do so. Hit all the buttons down there. Please support free content for ambient and experimental artists because there isn't enough out there on YouTube. And while you're looking for ways to improve your mixes, you might want to check out this video next. And until next time, keep making music. Cheers.